So today we're going to talk about losing your job, losing your unemployment, being furloughed. Um, for those of you who have never been through this experience, it can be a big shock to your system. So the first thing to know is you're not alone and it is, it can be a shock to your system. So you need to take care of yourself. Um, the first thing I think one needs to do is just to give yourself time to grieve. Um, a lot of people identify with what they do, where they work. Um, they base their success on outward things. And I know it's cliche to say that we should be basing it on, you know, inner stuff, but that is actually true. So, you know, take a little time to grieve over what's happened. Don't spend 24 hours a day watching Netflix or gaming or whatever people do to numb out. Um, it's good for a little bit, but there's a point where you need to get back up. Um, you need to get online. You need to file for unemployment. Now, if you live somewhere like I do, like New York City, um, I'm in a situation where I haven't pulled a paycheck from Change Food for a couple years. I started a company to do consulting work, and that's where I've gotten my paycheck. Um, so I could still do change food and not worry. But what has happened is um, the contract I had ended, I had just signed a new contract to put on events. Um, I signed on to be the U.S. partner for Boma Grow, which I'll talk about more um, when I actually get into work stuff. I'm now talking on like survival. But uh, it, it's putting on events and just the whole concept of events might be changing and I'm looking into that's very exciting But what it means is that we had not had the funding yet. So I am technically unemployed um, I tried for three days to apply online after you apply online It's the system kept crashing after you apply online You then have to phone and get a person on the phone absolutely impossible. I finally get through they want a pin number I don't have a pin number. So there's no one to talk to so anyway I was so frustrated, I threw my phone across the room. Oh, I can't tell you the tears and why. I mean, I, I know what it was. It I was acting out the anxiety of what I'm going through. It wasn't about not getting through on the phone. That was just an excuse for me to vent. Um, so just know that even the process of filing for unemployment might be trying on your nerves um it might be frustrating just just know with unemployment you will be paid retroactively to your date of unemployment so it doesn't matter how long it takes uh the other thing i was unemployed a few years ago when i had left one organization and before i had started my next thing and I, when I was in the unemployment office, they put me on Medicaid immediately. If you have that opportunity, do it. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Um, if you, you know, you've been paying taxes into the system probably for many years. So you, you've earned it. That's why you're paying taxes. I mean, a large part of the reason is as a safety net, um, if it's needed. So look into Medicaid if you're worried about health insurance. It, I was scared, I was embarrassed, I was, and I was everything, you know, uh, you think one might be, but it was the best thing I did. It, it really helped me, you know, and it, it, it really helped take off the stress of worrying about uh, where I was going to get medical coverage. So I highly recommend that. I don't know as much about SNAP. I do know it's also a nightmare right now, but you might qualify. I never went for food stamps or any of that type of assistance, but, you know, be proactive. Um, so after that, like I said, don't watch Netflix 24 hours a day. I mean, there are some things worth watching, not Tiger King. I don't get that, the obsession with that. That's for later. But keep a routine. Um, shower. I know that sounds silly, but just the small things can make a difference. You know, if, if you grind your coffee beans, grind your coffee beans. You know, have your cup of coffee. Dress. I, I will say I'm in leggings, but it's clean. Like I'm making an effort to take care of myself. I think that's really important. Exercise. Oh, I'm not being so good about that. But what I have done is when I feel anxiety building up, I have some music that just makes me dance. Like it just. So I put a playlist together 
and I'll put it on even if I don't really feel like it it'll make me want to get up and move really important it will help um, the most important thing I think is to remember that you are enough you are enough you are not your job you are not your salary you are not your profession and most importantly, you are not your Facebook or Instagram likes. Let that sink in. You are not your job. You are not your salary. You are not your profession. And you are not your social media likes. I fall into this too. Why is that person getting 650 likes and I'm getting 10? And you know what? It doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. That's not what's important. We think that's important. That's where so much anxiety comes from. I struggle with this probably more than all of you, which is why I'm talking about it. You know, look, do this. Get your phone, start filming diary entries, journal entries, start a show, put it up on YouTube. It's free. A researcher friend said that down the road, there will be a lot of people who are going to study this time. And he really encouraged me. He said, go online start documenting because there will be people who will want to see how people got through this pandemic. And now that we have all these tools, you know, we can all do it. But all that aside, take care of yourself. Um, we had the breathing, we had the meditation. Don't forget to do that. Don't forget to breathe. And just remember, you are enough. You, because you are here on this planet, that is is enough. You are a perfect being. All the other stuff is bullshit. Take care.